And a big sewer project causing road detours in a section of South Fort Wayne is now more than half done, much to the relief of people in the area. And as ABC 21's Jeff Newmeyer tells us, some residents in the area say the finish line can't get here fast enough. The car was headed westbound and shoved my vehicle up on the curb, actually. For the third time in about five months, Katie Todd is dealing with a car that's battered and bruised. The lady that scraped the side of her car parked along the street Thursday night, she wound up flipped on her side and had to be rescued. Thank goodness um, the individual in the vehicle was okay, um, but then obviously my, my car sustained some more damage. Third time is not a charge. No, <laughs> not in this case. It happened where Todd lives on Lexington Avenue that's been seeing higher traffic volume since last summer. That's when the Broadway Rudisill intersection was shut down for a big sewer consolidation project, forcing cars and trucks onto side streets to get around the closure. Neighbors rejected a proposal to outlaw parking along Lexington, hoping the presence of parked cars would slow speeds. We've got a lot of littles around. Uh, people walk a lot in this neighborhood and across the street, and uh, for people, especially at night, to not be extremely careful is concerning. This stretch of Nutman Avenue, another one that's been used as a cut through. There are cars parked on both sides of the street, so it can be a tight fit getting through. This was kind of a major thoroughfare it shut down for us for 10 months. Fort Wayne PD Deputy Chief Steve Hafner met with neighborhood leaders last June, seeking input on how to keep things running smooth and safe on neighborhood streets during the construction. Barricades have been placed on one section of Illsley Place and the speed limit lowered. And police have tried to get control of things with extra patrols. From 2018 versus 2019, we went from eight traffic stops in the area to over 120. So I know the officers are down here doing their jobs. We're, we're living with it. Cody Tinnell is president of the historic Foster Park neighborhood, which is impacted by the detours. He believes drivers trying to find ways past the construction hit dead ends, then let the frustration go straight to their foot on the gas pedal. We get people, you know, going 10, 20, 30 miles uh, over the, the speed limit on our streets, which is, is uh, a definite challenge. You see signs in the area pleading for driver restraint. The bright spot, we're halfway through this project, so we're moving forward. Jeff Newmeyer, ABC 21. Now the sewer project uh, could be wrapped up and traffic patterns return to normal as early as May.